Again, Kai Mills is just telling his story by video. It's my phone, my chat, my WCAY. The W is worldwide. This stuff goes worldwide just by a click of your finger. Goes everywhere. One click. Just like that, and it goes everywhere. I'm going to tell you a story about um, life changing for me at on Saturday. Saturday the 19th at Snapper's Bar when Ashley Bar, Duncan Byrne, and this other girl, I don't remember her name right now for her. I don't remember her name. They cursed me out. Ashley Bar came out and threatened me with death. She texted me that night what she's going to do with me and how pathetic I am. The next morning, Ashley Bar, I thought she was overly drunk, as she usually is. But the next morning, she was sober. She come find me at Texo, Texaco and tell me if I fool with Duncan Barnes, she will kill me and she'll do this and that. This girl is a hundred and some pounds. I could grab her with one hand and, and uh, hold up with one hand and throw a boat, but I become angry but composed. I didn't let Ashley Bar get to me. I went to the police. Lo and behold, the police did the right thing. I must compliment the policeman in Marshaba. They charged Ashley Bar with threats of debt. She spent a couple hours in jail at the Marshaba police station. Went before the court and Ashley Bar told the magistrate, yes. I threatened to kill Kai. I am guilty. Ashley Barr, attorney then got up and said, how is Ashley Barr going to go back to work at Snappers if Kai Mills going to be around? The magistrate called Kai Mills at the front of the court and says she's ordering me to stay away from Ashley Bar. That was like a dagger in me. That, that, that one really did me bad. And I said to the magistrate, I think your ruling is wrong. Ashley Bar, just being convicted, pleaded guilty of threatening to kill me. Ashley Bar ought to be ordered to stay away from Kai Mills. Magistrate looked at me again and said, no, again, I am ordering you to stay away from Ashley Bar. I left the courtroom bleeding within that I controlled my passion, my anger, went before the courts and got hurt even worse. The question is, as I tell my story, if Ashley Bar were to curse somebody like, let's say, let's call the name of their Chad. Let me call his last name, Chad. The F and M money man. And if Ashley Barr would have pleaded guilty for threatening to kill Chad, following Chad around the next morning to threaten him again, would the results be different? The jury is still out on that. Again, I'm telling my story. But the thing about it that, that bothers, bothers me is that after Ashley Bath pleaded guilty, she went back to Snappers and continued her drunken ways, got drunk, bust up, right after coming to jail or the court, ain't no thing. And here I am, whether they like it or not, I have been elected by the same people that elected the member of parliament for North Abaco, there in Henfield. Every local government election I went in, in my district, which is the biggest district in North Abaco, I either come first or second. And here I am, being threatened, an elected man, by a drunk, and didn't get any, any justice. 
And then I look at, you all don't know that forever, I cannot eat, I cannot eat at Snappers anymore because Billy, the owner of Snappers, never ever came after that and apologized. He was there when Ashley Bar cursed me. The next day, Ashley Bar went to work after he saw her in this drunken rage. So could I ever eat at or drink at Snappers anymore? No. Could I ever tell anybody to eat or dine at Snappers? No. Then you go up the road there to Blue Hole. His, the owner, one of the owner girlfriend, was in that drunken rage with Ashley Bar. Can Kai ever eat at Blue Hole or drink at Blue Hole or encourage persons to eat or drink or Blue Hole ever again? No. So you see, ladies and gentlemen, because you take a stand, you are disenfranchised. You have to watch where you go. You have to watch what you eat. You have to watch what you say because the majority of them are looking for you to fail and to fall on your own sword. So that incident with Ashley Bar has been a life learning for Kai Mills. And again, Ashley continues to get drunk. And again, Kai Mills must tell his story. But the question is, if I was white, would I get the same result? Or it's because I am Negro? That is the question in this black country. We ask ourselves, where and when can the black elected man like Kai Mills get justice? This is my story. I will continue to tell my story because I live it every day. Kai Kiss, you are live on WCAY on the 7th of February, 2019.